Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, you clicked on the right video, especially if you're into makeup, but because I have gotten some nice PR sent to me and inside this gorgeous, really cool clear makeup bag is two of their brand new foundations, the Light Reflecting Foundation. And so many people have been requesting to see this in action, to get an in-depth review like I did on the Charlotte Tilbury one. And they sent me out Stromboli and Barcelona, which are the two colors I wear anyway. I'm not that dark today, tan-wise. So I'm gonna go with Stromboli. Hopefully it won't be too dark for me. I'm gonna check in throughout the day to let you know how it's wearing, how it's fading, and if it's going patchy at all, how other makeup goes on over it, all that. So it says on the back, shake well and i can hear already that's a very liquidy foundation i think it's going to be quite sheer very dewy very hydrating so let's get straight into it let's not waste any time i literally have a clean foundation brush here from blank canvas so ready to go so i'm just going to squirt it out straight onto the brush and i can definitely see that it has quite a um liquidy watery texture to it um, you can often tell this by how it applies to your face if it starts dripping down. But this one isn't as watery as I was expecting it to be. It actually feels really unusual going on. It definitely has kind of like, to be honest, it doesn't feel like it has that kind of sticky, dewy effect. It nearly has what I would describe as a satin lipstick feel. But as, oh, and it's way too dark for my pale, found or pale tan that I've on today. We will sort that out. But let's just keep looking at the uh, foundation for now. Did I put on the right one? I did, Stromboli. Well, to be fair, Stromboli's still quite dark. So far, it definitely doesn't have that kind of sticky feel that a lot of dewy foundations have, or that kind of like, I often find that dewy foundations can be quite thick in formula. This one is going on. It nearly feels like it's a matte foundation. And I think I'm kind of just making up that it's gonna be dewy because it says light reflecting. This actually might be a matte foundation because even with my other NARS foundations, I have like the sheer glow and stuff. And I never find it sheer or glowy. I'm a big fan of NARS products. Here I'm back, slight out for change. I changed into another one of my favorite Sinead Keary jumpers. I love the little gap at the back with the bow, it's so cute. But I just said it'd probably be better considering I have like basically no tan on and also I was saying, trying on new foundation with a white cami probably isn't the best idea and then I put on a light pink nearly white top so I don't know what I'm doing but anyway at least I'm a little bit more um cohesive now with my colors okay so it's applying really well it's really smooth to apply it's definitely dewy so I wasn't making that up it has more, probably more color than coverage in it see now it's called light reflective because even against my um filming lights here it is reflecting in a really nice way it doesn't look really greasy or oily or sweaty looking it just kind of looks quite glowy but it definitely doesn't have like that really full coverage that the other foundation has that i was showing you but i have no doubt that it's buildable because all of the nars foundations are really buildable but that's probably why it has that kind of um watery consistency straight away like see that's built up now a good bit but it feels really unusual going on. It has the exact same feel on my face as like a satin lipstick does going on my lips. Like it nearly feels matte going on, like watery matte if that's even a thing. It's kind of an unusual feeling because you'd always think that like watery would be more of a, I don't know, it's, it's kind of blowing my mind a bit. It's the same reaction that I had to, again, the NARS airbrush blushes i was like these are really an unusual consistency but it's blending really well and a little goes a long way in the fact that like you can get your whole face done and that's definitely after building up a good bit there now across my chin and cheeks so i'm going to go in next with the nars creamy concealer in the shade custard this is always my go-to one so that's going to just add a bit of brightness and lightness underneath my eyes We'll run a tiny bit down my nose and across my chin as well. Okay, so next moving on to the products over it. I'm just gonna use some translucent powder from Rimmel. Now I'm definitely not going to put a lot of cream products or dewy products on top of this because it's definitely um, looking quite dewy to me and I don't want it to look too shiny. So just going to powder my forehead, my nose, underneath my eyes and my chin and up the sides of my face just to prevent it from transferring. And guys, I think to be honest, I have no foundations that compare to this and I've tried nearly every single foundation on the market. It definitely has that really unusual application feel. It looks 
quite like all of my foundations when it's on but the feel of it I don't know how to compare it it kind of feels like the um, Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation but it doesn't feel like that going on at all I would say the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation is heavier and kind of a completely different texture of a foundation but let's see how this one um, lasts throughout the day anyway and see how other makeup applies on top of it I can definitely see where the light reflecting is coming from because it even has a really fresh look to it after powdering my face and I actually rarely powder my face but I just wanted to um, show you what it would look like because I know the majority of people watching this do like to powder their face so wow okay it's looking good let's see how bronzer and blusher and eyeshadow and all that look on it okay so whenever I'm trying new foundations I don't want to mess around with anything that goes under it or over it that could alter my opinion on it so I'm just going to use the same blusher and bronzer that I use literally all the time MAC Gimme Sun I'm just gonna plonk that on give us a bit of bronze that looks good, it looks like it's applying really smoothly, it doesn't look like it's catching in any place, it doesn't look like it's going patchy, that has happened to me before with foundations and bear in mind now I have powdered bits of my face before this so that might be an element of why this is applying a little bit smoother. Before, I can't remember what foundation it was but with a really um, dewy kind of a wet foundation when I was putting on the bronzer or blusher it was nearly sticking but I think it's because it was too wet that it needed to be powdered first but guys I'm really liking this it's looking gorgeous it's really looking quite photo ready but it also looks really good in person and I find that's quite hard like a lot of the time I'll do my makeup specifically to look nice for like photos or filming and then a lot of the time that makeup doesn't look that good in person the same as vice versa Sometimes makeup in person could look gorgeous, lovely and dewy, but then when it photographs it's like a sweaty mess, you know? And also in pictures sometimes it picks up on parts extra and doesn't on other parts. Of, it just doesn't give um, a similar kind of representation of what it looks like in person. But this kind of looks the same in both my mirror and my camera, so I'm really happy with it. I just did the um, Dior rosy glow blush there on my cheeks i also have a video on that so i will link that somewhere on the screen okay so i have all the rest of my face finished i have my eyes done my mascara all that jazz i can definitely say that this foundation is going to be used a lot by me i really really like it i was just taking some selfies there that i'll pop in here using the front camera back camera and back camera with flash and it just photographs so well and you know why the boy was saying it's so hard to get a makeup look that looks good both in person and on camera because they both need very different things in person you might want your skin to look quite glossy dewy and more natural but on camera that can often come across as just very sweaty and too glowy and that's obviously happened to me because I love glowy skin in person and then I see a video or a picture of myself and I'm like oh god especially for the big studio lights so the fact that this is coming across so well on the camera on my phone camera on my selfie camera and also in the mirror I'm like this foundation didn't come to play I'm gonna say I might prefer the Charlotte Tilbury one just because I found the Charlotte Tilbury one went a bit dry on my forehead but needless to say this one is just on 10 minutes now so I will do some check-ins throughout the day but my initial thoughts guys I really like it it has the best of both worlds it's very versatile it can be made more dewy by using cream products putting more of a pearly base underneath it um, it definitely worked well with the powder my forehead doesn't feel like it's cracking yet or anything but I'm really impressed guys, I really like it and I can't wait to see how it wears. I hope that I'm going to continue liking it. I think I'd wear it more as a daytime foundation rather than a nighttime foundation. I'm looking at it here and I'm like, oof! It's giving a very, I can see where they got the idea of light reflecting from. It's still, it's, yeah, it's a really good word to use because I wouldn't call it dewy. Maybe that's just because I'm after setting it now and all the products I've used are powder but it just looks really good on a camera on a phone on a selfie camera on the back camera and it looks really good in person as well I'm definitely gonna stick with my guns of giving it a kind of a satin text like I, I would call it satin because it still has that light shining through it it still looks like skin it's very fresh but it doesn't have uh, the dewiness or stickiness or very like you know the way I said it was watery going on but it was nearly 
as I was rubbing it in, it felt like it was kind of mattifying, similarly to the Charlotte Tilbury one. So in that sense, I'd say it's quite similar to the Charlotte Tilbury one, um, because I described that one as a satin finish as well, more than dewy. It, that one definitely still has that kind of brightness coming through on it and a very fresh feel. But yeah, I just found that my skin felt a little bit dehydrated with that one when I was wearing it all day. But I wore it again recently and just put some really thick moisturiser underneath it and I loved it. So let's see how I get on with this one. Um, it could be that I have on my all-time favourite eyeshadow palette and lipstick as well. I think that the blush goes... Look, it's absolutely beautiful on it, the bronzer, the colour looks really good now that I have it blended in my neck a bit and I have a high top on but I really really like it. I feel like I would definitely wear this for daytime drinks, going for brunch, you could wear this going to work. I think it could be built up into a nighttime foundation especially because how good it photographs and that's when you would be taking the majority of your photos would be for a night out. I can see that even where I needed to do the second layer on my chin it still didn't cover everything there are some freckles and stuff showing through but I feel like if I kept layering it and put maybe a heavier concealer it could be a nighttime one but let's see how it um I would fade throughout the day. I have another video to film now so I'm gonna be underneath these really harsh um, strong light so this literally makes your makeup sweat off and like run down your face so if you can survive being in front of these cameras for another video that's doing well it's now three o'clock so it's later than I thought it was going to be but I'll do another check-in I'll do another two more check-ins so one maybe in like two or three hours and then another one just before I go to bed and to be honest I might even end up wearing it again tomorrow and doing some more check-ins over on Instagram I really like it let me know what you think so far guys and I can't wait to see what it is Four o'clock, no it's not, it's ten past five and I am still looking good. I've been under these lights for so long, let me take another selfie and give you a five o'clock update. Like, I think we're doing well guys, I really do. Look how good it looks. I am a really big fan of this. I can't wait to hear if any of you have tried it. Am I jumping on this bandwagon late or is it still considered new? I feel like nowadays things are only new for about a day. By the time I make the video up, you're onto a new foundation. But um, I'm really enjoying it. This Right guys, it's just before 10 o'clock now and I'm after wearing this foundation to death. I've just eaten the biggest, messiest McDonald's vegetarian burger. I'd say there's still mustard all over my face. I have no lipstick left on and I went for a walk and there's been no smudging underneath my eyes, which I usually get from some concealer foundation combos. I also think it's this mascara doing bits for me. But everything around my face is looking like very good. I'm just gonna get a mirror there so I can compare. Okay, so all around my mouth is after fading, but like I said, I'm look, there's literally bits of mustard on my face and everything. All the rest of my face seems to be faded really well underneath my eyes don't look too shattered. Besides my cheeks are good with the blush and bronzer is the only place where I can see where the foundation has come off is literally around my face where there was sauce all over my face. My forehead looks good, it feels good, it doesn't look or feel too dry or cakey, it's definitely still very breathable. Guys, I really really like this foundation, I think that's all I have to say about it. I'm going to keep continuing to use it because sometimes you can get really lucky or unlucky with your first impressions of a new makeup product. So for more updates keep an eye on my Instagram stories where I'll be wearing it more and more over the next few days. I might have it in both shades as well so I might wear Barcelona going up the next time I have my dark tan on. But I hope that you found this video informative, enjoyable. Let me know if you've tried the foundation yet or if it's on your wish list. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video guys.